slightly disappointed. I was going to go on a run today. I was going to get off my butt and do something. And then guess what? It's raining. It's raining. Why? It hasn't rained here for like over two months. Almost three months. And now it's raining. So I can't do anything. Which is what I've been doing for the last four weeks. I was going to update you all on Annabelle. She is four weeks old as of yesterday. And I was going to do this yesterday, but yesterday just got a little busy and I got a little lazy. And nothing ever happened. So, she does not have another doctor's appointment until December 20th. But, she's definitely getting bigger. She's definitely getting longer. And, she's been sleeping a lot better through the night. Um, I'll still feed her at around 11. Like, 10 or 11. But, like, last night she woke up at, well, this morning she woke up at 4. And I didn't have to feed her again until 8. So, I got some good sleep last night. Which was very nice. And then, she's kind of gotten in the routine of, so what I basically do is I wake her up, change her diaper, well, okay, I wake her up, unswaddle her if she's swaddled, change her diaper, feed her, come back into her room and feed her, and then once she's done eating, I'll burp her, and then swaddle her again. And I think she started to realize that swaddling basically means bedtime. And so, she'll fall asleep a lot easier now than she used to, which is so nice. So, it's definitely getting into a little bit of a routine. She kind of still has, um, I don't know. Things change a lot during the day, but from around 8 o'clock until morning, she's in a pretty good routine. Like, pretty consistent. Um... She's been doing this thing where she'll eat for like five seconds and then stop and then she'll start crying because she can't find the boob even though it's right in front of her face which has been really frustrating and honestly kind of painful and then if she hasn't been eating for very long at all then a boob kind of just leaks everywhere and it makes a mess and then it gets all over her normally I have to change her outfit I have to change my outfit because it gets all over me too and so I've kind of learned to just like put a burp rag somewhere to catch it all but that only works half the time and half the time I forget or there's not one close and so I need to get better at that just because if that's going to be what she continues to do I want to be able to handle it and not get frustrated but lately I've been getting a little frustrated just because I don't know what to do I don't know how to fix it I don't know if there is a way to fix it mostly what I try to do is like if it seems like she's not latched on right I'll take her mouth off and have her try again just so she latches on right but I think it might be because her nose has been stuffy so maybe she just knows that she can't breathe very well when She's eating, and so she has to stop to breathe. That could be part of it. I don't really know. But I've been trying to get all the boogers out of her nose before she eats every time. Just to see if that will help. And it seems to be helping a little bit, but I don't know if that's just a coincidence or what. And sorry, I talk with my hands a lot. Sorry. Okay. But, honestly, she sleeps so well during the night time. Well, I mean, for a baby. Like, she sleeps well. And it makes me really happy. Sorry if you can hear the TV in the background. But, um, and then she started to take the other pacifiers that she didn't originally like. <laughs> She's smiling right now. Okay, maybe not anymore. But, she used to only take these ones. And, well, and I only have one of these that she used to like and she used to only take those she wouldn't take the soothing ones like these ones which was super annoying because I have the one that has a little animal on it which is super helpful to like help keep it in her mouth because you can either tuck it under things or lean it up against things and it just like keeps it in her mouth better but she can like she still has the opportunity to take her mouth off of it it's still kind of just like hanging in her mouth 
So that one helps a lot. And she did start to take these ones, which is really nice. She did start to sleep well when I swaddled her after my aunt taught me how she does it with her daughter. And so ever since then, she's been sleeping a lot better. And it's gotten her into a better routine of when sleeping time is, which is perfect for me because I think that'll be something that kind of just sticks. Obviously, I'm not going to swaddle her when she's older. I mean, I'll swaddle her for a while, but I think it'll help get her into a routine. Just changing diaper, feeding, bedtime. So, just because that's what I've been doing consistently, and I'd like to keep it consistent just because I th think it'll help. And I think it'll continue to help as she gets older. Sorry, that's been a lot of talking. Um, but she's been doing really well. Um, she really likes to fall asleep on Caleb, which is really nice because then it's not just me being able to calm her down. He can calm her down really well. My mom helps a lot when she gets really fussy during the daytime because she she's really patient like I think you can be a lot more patient with other people's children than you can with yours and especially because it's her granddaughter and she knows that I really appreciate the help like she's just there to help so but she does routinely get pretty fussy in the mornings like after she wakes up after her morning feeding which is normally between like six and eight so normally after that she'll sleep for a little bit and then she'll wake up around 10 ish depending on when she ate and that's when she'll be kind of fussy I think a lot of it's just gas and I don't know if it's the aftermath from sleeping or how she's been sleeping I mean she, she sleeps on her back or on her side which I've been told by the doctor is fine they just don't want her sleeping on her stomach so I don't know if sleeping on her side does bring on the gas though whereas maybe sleeping on her back wouldn't but she sleeps on me a lot better than she sleeps in the bassinet, and I sleep okay even with her sleeping on me, so it helps all around. Um, let's see. Um, she is now basically in size 1 diapers, just because the last four days, I believe, she's pooped through diapers, and the size 1s seem so big, but I think think they're better than the newborn. The newborn, she just, she fills so fast that it just comes out the sides, it comes out the back, or comes out the front. So we started putting her, putting her in size one diapers, um, just because there's m more room in them, and when she does have a lot to get out, she can get it all out at once, and it's not a problem. So... Also, because it's been getting a little bit colder here, I have been putting like short sleeves onesies under her outfits, which do more than one thing. They keep her a little bit warmer, which is good because not all of her outfits are super warm. Like, she's wearing a pretty warm outfit right now. It's like the fleece ones, so I don't have one on her right now. But when she's wearing anything like thinner than that, I've been putting them on her which keeps her warmer and then also I think it keeps the diaper tighter around her and so it's harder for her to poop through a diaper or pee through a diaper but um two she has been when I change her diaper I'll take the diaper off and I'll try to leave it under her but she kicks her feet so much that a lot of times she'll almost get her feet in it so I move the diaper out from under her I swear every time I do that she just pees everywhere so it's all over the changing table and then it normally gets up her back in her hair everything so she's been getting baths like the last three four days I gave her a bath today I didn't take a video of that today which I'm sure you guys are sick of seeing that anyway so done with that um, she really does like baths though so I mean Sometimes just to calm her down, I can probably just put her in the bath. Sorry. Um, 
but I can put her in the bath to calm her down. The only problem with that is when you take her out, she I think she gets cold really fast, and so then she gets fussy again. And so, I mean, sometimes if you wrap her up fast enough, she's fine. And then you have to basically dry her off the best you can, and then try to get a diaper and clothes on her before she starts getting cold and fussy again. Which, you know, I, a little bit of fussiness, no big deal. But I just, like, I don't want to put her in the bath to calm her down just to have her get all fussy again when I take her out. This has been a really long clip, and I hope you guys are not bored. I just, this is kind of for me to look back on um, if I were to have more children, which I, I want to at some point. I just don't know when, obviously. But just to see where she was compared to where my next babies are at this time. So, at four weeks, she's doing really well. Like, things are easier than I expected them to be, but they're still difficult. Like, being exhausted is difficult. It takes a toll on the body, but you get through it. And it's really not that bad. I have help from my mom. I have help from my dad. Um, a lot of help from Caleb at night when he gets home from work. So all that's really nice. And I'm just, I'm, I'm so happy like with everything. Obviously, you can't get rid of the fussiness completely. But when, like... It passes. Every everything passes. So it's not gonna be forever. They're gonna be crying every once in a while, but it <laughs> it's not forever. So uh, with that too, um, she does get pretty fussy at night. Like normally around like eight or nine ish before she goes to bed. And so normally I'll give her gas drops or gripe water. And I've found that the gripe water works a lot better than the gas drops. I think because. Well, they're supposed to help with fussiness. They're supposed to help with gas as well. So, I mean, it's all those things put together that just, I think, and I think it's more natural too. Maybe. I don't know. It's made from a bunch of different extracts of different things that are supposed to help with how many of her different things. So, that seems to work better. And it calms her down really well too because she likes the taste of it. She'll basically, like, suck it down in... Like, she would suck it down in two seconds if she could. She just can't swallow that fast, but she really likes the taste of it. So, that's been a lifesaver. Um, yeah. Also, um, we went on a few different hikes within the last couple weeks, and I've been putting her in the baby carrier. I have an Ergo baby carrier. <coughs> which I will link down below. It's kind of expensive, but I really, really love it. And there is also an infant insert that you can buy with it, but it, I believe it's around $40, and I did not want to spend that much money on one, just because obviously she wouldn't be using it for very long. So instead, I have a pair of sweatpants that I fold in half and then roll up, and put under her and it actually works really well because then her butt can sit on the top of the pants and her feet can well normally her feet could either hang down hang off to the sides or what I normally do is I have her kind of like cross-legged and then <coughs> and then her feet are just like up against my chest which keeps her nice and tight and I think it does help get any like cramping or gas out that she has like while we're walking or whatever we're doing and then also too she'll also she'll basically fall asleep like within five ten minutes of being in there and she'll be out for a while as long as she's not hungry or have a full diaper but so that's been great um i do like the stroller that we have i can link that down below if you'd like it's a graco stroller so it goes with it's a graco click connect jogger stroller and so our car seat can it goes 
directly with your car seat, and so our car seat can just like clip into it. So it's perfect. Um, I don't really know what else. If you guys have any more questions about Annabelle or anything, just let me know, and I'll try to answer those for you. But yeah. I hope you enjoyed this. I'll probably be back, but if not, I hope you enjoyed this video.